What is up guys, welcome back. Uh, somebody had mentioned they would like to see the soap area where the magic happens, where the supplies live. It's not exciting, this is not Instagram. So, <laughs> but I'm gonna show you anyway. I don't normally show you that area because it's, 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 it's it, I don't like it, it's messy. So this is all filled with soap for shows. So everything is packaged, soap is, has string on it and it's put in these boxes so we can carry it with us to shows. <laughs> We'll get to you in a minute. This is the area where all the supplies are stored. Um, we kind of grew a little faster than we provided infrastructure for. We like to keep it uh, frugal. So we need some new shelves over here for sure, but this is kind of where everything lives. Um, nothing exciting. Colorance, soap cutter. The further down you go on the shelf, the, the, the worse it looks. Um, <laughs> We have some soap stuff up here. These are just cut soaps that we use, that I wanna use to make our, uh, I wanna do like a birthday cake. This is the planets for the galaxy soap. Mixed in with mica colorant. Um, nothing exciting. This is just ready to grab, easy to use fragrance oils. So I'll use these in my daily use. I'll pull them over there. H likes to keep them organized, keep them over here. Hi, do you want to say hi and let everybody know you're doing awesome? No? Blue eye? <laughs> Pishka. Hi, pretty baby. Anyway, guys, <laughs> this is the grab-and-go stuff that I use over at the in the kitchen to make the soap. She keeps it over here, keeps it full for me, and I'll show you the rest of it in a minute. This is the great big board of everything. Uh, this list was put up here. Everything I can knock out of this list would be ready for January 1 launch. Galaxy, you see the question mark there? That's because we only make the Galaxy at a certain times. You guys can go check out the video and see why that is. As you guys can see, if you watched last night's video, my goat pairs video was supposed to be done on 11.4 and then goat breeding videos starting on 11.8. Yeah, we blew up a little bit. These are festivals that I need to fill out apps for. She even put a nice ASAP on there for me just to let me <laughs> let me know I'm behind, <laughs> which is okay because I need that. Um, and then update some photos on Etsy, update the international shipping or get international shipping going. So you guys in Australia, all my Aussies, I love you guys. So many of you, just amazing. Uh, and then I need to fix our standard shipping. There's nothing wrong with it price-wise. It's just that I have three different options in there. And it's confusing to me, you guys can't see it, but every time I list a soap, I have to pick a shipping option and it's just goofy. Anyway, we have molds over here, we have colorants, we have fragrance oils for daily use, rubbing alcohol, um, squirt bottles, spray bottles, soap stuff in general. <coughs> Sorry guys, still dealing with that. Somebody had asked me about this pillow. Uh, they saw it on the ISS video when I was at Jamie's at the Barnuminium. I picked this up because I was like, oh, we have this pillow in our house. Guys, I bought this like two years ago at Tractor Supply. Tractor Supply normally does a themed Christmas, and this was part of uh, one of their themed Christmas packages. And so I bought it. They probably haven't done it again, and that's why you can't find it. This is specifically from Amanda. I got tired of my tape dispenser rocking around so I taped it together. Yep, we keep it redneck, y'all. If it works, it's not stupid. We go around the corner. We have some mint hanging to dry for the eucalyptus mint soap. We have packing paper, packing paper, packing paper, and packing boxes. That little green box back there is my jug of coconut oil. Five-gallon bucket I set on the heater and put the bucket uh, box over top of it so you can actually see, so it can actually get warmed up and I can get the oil out of the bucket. When you buy it by the five gallon, it's tough to get out of the bucket. This is the soap rack. Basically is here for soaps that I've just made. Fresh cut, they go over here. Um, you can see the lovely H has provided when this soap will be done, 1224. So everything that's on this rack is gonna be for the January one Etsy restock. I think it's going to be huge and I'll just continue to add to that add to it add to it add to it um <clears throat> I think each shelf holds like 250 240 240 bars it was pretty full yesterday don't mind my hutch over there it's always a mess 
thank you. I think that's what hutches are for. Um, on the bottom of the rack down there, you see we just got an oil of fragrant, an order of fragrance oils yesterday. So they are lined up along the bottom there. This is kind of overstock. This is ease of use, ready to grab. This is overstock. So once I run out over on the other side, we'll pull from here. Uh, more packing, more packing, olive oil. This is, eh, this is a mess. Guys, I'm telling you, we, we went from zero to 60 and when you do that and you don't have the infrastructure, stuff starts to get messy and you just start piling stuff places. Um, this is show stuff and packing stuff. So we can package um, soap and ship out to you guys. And you see my calendar up there hasn't been changed since October, if that tells you anything about where my life has been this year. <laughs> Not complaining, I love it, but we're a little behind. Um, oh, you guys, so Nurture Soap, anytime you order thing, anything from Nurture, they send you these little cards like this. I have one here. And whoever fills the order will sign that for you. Your order was packed by, and they pop a little card in there. One of you are definitely getting Mr. Momo in your order. Faux show. <laughs> Nobody gets Grumpy Cat. Grumpy Cat stays. Uh, so H will bring soap from this shelf over to her little workstation right here, and she'll bevel it all, and then she'll line it up on this shelf. And then we'll go from this shelf to this area. She will stack unwrapped soap over here for me. I will start with my little tape dispenser gun I just showed you right here, and I will work through the soap. So I'll pick up a soap, wrap it, stack it over here, and I'll just work my way down the counter. So all of this would have started here and moved over there. And then I will start here and I will string it and I will work back. So I'll grab it from there, string it and stack it over here. This is all lined up. I don't have anywhere else to put this now. So this is for the 12-3 um, launch or 12-4 launch for you guys on Etsy. All ready to go. Getting it stacked up guys. Trying to push out as much as we can for you guys. <clears throat> this little area right here, I told you the workstation. This is this is my throw and go electronics, daily use camera, headlights, um, earbuds, barn light. And this is where I make the soap. You guys know if you've seen any of my videos, uh, all the soap making happens right there. We had a steam iron and it's an amazing steam iron. We use that to steam the tops of the soap. Uh, they'll get a little ashy on top. I'll show you the men's in a second. They'll get a little ashy on top. We, we like to keep it frugal, guys. We already owned a steam iron. I didn't see paying 50 to $100 for a good garment steamer that is going to do the same thing. That iron is legit good. <clears throat> That's my soap formulas under there. You can't see that, y'all. Uh, I generally wash my molds and stack them here because I'm just going to use them the next day. And... Oh, here's the men's. So you can see when I say ashy on top, it gets that little bit of... The exterior of the soap dries faster than the interior when it's in the mold and it gets a little ashy. And some of them are worse than others. Like the pear is eh. Uh, men's is the worst with the ashing. But anyway, that's what that's all about. That's where we make the soap. This is all the non-Instagram soap making soap supplies area. This is what I'm always looking at, the chickens back there. Chickens are right back there. My greenhouse got wrecked. The wind destroyed it last night. It was legit bad here. Probably 30, 40, blowing 30 and 40 mile an hour winds, plus rain, plus thunder, plus lightning. It was crazy. And I know a lot of you guys experienced that as well. So that's it guys. Make sure you get out to the Etsy shop on this Sunday. Actually, we'll just say on this Sunday, 8 a.m. Soap's getting launched as much as we possibly have that we can put on there. And then on January 1, 2023, we will do a huge launch with everything else that we have available. Whatever didn't shell at shows, whatever didn't, whatever. It's all good. Everything we can throw at you guys, we're going to throw at you. That's the soap. That's us. That's how it's made. That's where it's made. That's the supplies. And we are not Instagram. Just keep that in mind. <laughs> and that is all. And goodbye.